Why induction of <coughs> its high starting current? Why the inrush current is 5 to 8 times high? Why it is so? If you want to know all these things, now let's jump to the video. When we start the supply of 3 phase induction motor, the current starts flowing through all the 3 phases. Because of this current flowing through all the 3 phases, a 3 phase magnetic field is produced into the stator. When there are 3 individual magnetic field, there is some resultant effect. And the resultant effect is constant in magnitude but it will keep on rotating. And we will call it as a rotating magnetic field. So finally we can say when we start the supply we will get a rotating magnetic field. So at the instant when we just turn on the supply we will start getting the rotating magnetic field. But at that instant rotor is still standstill. It has not started moving because of its inertia right. So what is happening we are getting rotating magnetic field but the rotor is still standstill it's not moving. So because of this rotating magnetic field EMF is induced into the rotor as per the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and the equation for that is E is equal to N d phi by dt. Initially the rate of change of flux is maximum. Why it is maximum? Because the rotor is standstill and the RMF is rotating at synchronous speed. So if you observe the relative speed between the rotor and the rotating magnetic field that relative speed is maximum and when that speed is maximum we can say that we are getting the maximum rate of change of flux. So when the rate of change of flux is maximum the induced EMF into that rotor would be maximum. So when we get the maximum induced EMF into the rotor we will get the maximum current into the rotor. Now rotor take its all power from the stator. So initially a rotor is not rotating it stands still so it's not drawing any current. But as soon as we turn on the supply rotor suddenly starts grabbing the current. So what will happen that extra burden will be transferred to the stator and hence stator will start grabbing more current from the system. So this is the fundamental logic the fundamental reason behind why induction motor takes heavy current when it starts. Now once the rotor start gaining the speed what will happen the relative motion between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor will gradually reduce. So because of this less relative speed the induced EMF into the rotor will reduce and the current will also reduce. So this will reduce the burden on stator and then the stator draw less current from the system. So this is the reason why the starting current of induction motor is 5, 7, 8 times higher than the rated current of induction motor. To better understand this thing let me give you one very interesting example. So now here you can see the equivalent circuit of induction motor. Here the R1 and X1 are the resistance and inductance of stator winding where R2 dash and X2 dash are the resistance and inductance of the rotor winding. The I0 and X0 component refer to the core loss of this machine and the last component R2 dash into 1 by S minus 1. This is actually the mechanical power delivered by the rotor. It is the electrical equivalent of that mechanical power. So when we just turn on the induction motor, we will get RMF instantly. But rotor is standstill. So what will be the slip? Slip of induction motor. The equation for slip is Ns minus N divided by Ns. So if our synchronous speed is 1500 rpm and rotor is just standstill. So it's rotating at 0 rpm. So what will be the slip? The slip will be 1500 minus 0 by 1500 gives us 1. So at initial condition the slip of induction motor is 1. Now let's say for example the value of R1, X1, R2 dash and X2 dash all are 1. And we are ignoring I0 and X0. Just ignore these two components and all the rest components are equal to 1 ohm. Right? And we are giving the supply of 100 volts. So the supply is 100 volt and rest of the all components are of 1 ohm. Now for the initial condition slip is 1 and let's place the value of slip into this equation to get the initial current. So the equation of initial current would be like this. Right? 
so in this equation when you place s as 1 what you will get you will get this when you get this the resistance of the circuit is minimum here in this circuit it's 4 ohm right so at initial condition the resistance of the circuit is minimum and that is why we are getting the maximum current at initial period and what will be the amount of current the amount of current is 25 ampere for our this example now let's say motor gain the speed and now it's rotating at 2.5 percent slip so now if we place the value of this 2.5 percent in the same equation what we'll get we'll get the resistance is equal to we'll get the overall impedance is equal to 43 ohm right so in that case the current would be 2.32 ampere so now you can see the difference if the rated current is around 2.3 or 3 ampere the initial current the starting current is around 25 ampere for our case right so this is the difference of rated current and starting current i think now it's clear to you that why initial current in induction motor is high now if you want to refer more similar question and you want to get more similar explanation you can refer all these videos on my channel if you have enjoyed this video and if you have found this channel fruitful then do not forget to subscribe to this channel so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye